Today I'm playing with this infrared curling iron. I've actually never seen or played with an infrared curling iron. They're usually on flat irons. And I do like the concept of infrareds, but I still have yet to found one hair tool that is not a complete gimmick <laughs> when using infrared heat. They're usually never strong enough or they're, they create so much extra frizz and it's just something with those flat irons that have infrared heating are a complete gimmick and they just don't work or they don't perform as best as conventional type of <laughs> flat irons. So this one right here is by the brand Aria Beauty and I picked this up from Target and it retails for $79.99. Let's turn it on so you can see the infrared right here on both sides, turn on. There it is, has two strips on each side, which to me seems very weird. Why wouldn't you have, now it just seems very uneven, right? Why wouldn't you have some in the back? Why wouldn't you have some underneath? Yeah. Like, I, I don't get that. Why is it on both sides? It's very uneven to me personally, but it does have titanium, mirrored titanium plating on the packaging and this is the 1.25 inch. I also believe there is a one inch and this packaging seems very cheap just because I think somebody already used this or maybe it's just really bad quality packaging. There is scratching right at the top and it's not dirty. I try to wipe it off. It's definitely somebody scratched that at the very top. You can see it right there. And then the rest of this, it just, it, feel, it feels, you know, it doesn't feel luxurious, but it's okay. So there are temperature settings and this is the weird part. The lowest temperature setting is 370 degrees Fahrenheit and the highest is 450. I'm very curious why the lowest is 370. To me, <laughs> I understand why because it's obviously not as powerful, so they need it as hot as possible, even for the lowest heat setting. So obviously already, the infrared is not working as well as it should be, right? Yeah, if infrared was actually working, they actually would be going the other way. Yeah, it'd be lower heat settings. Yeah. Right? Technically yeah. it would. It just, it already seems very gimmicky. They're gonna, they're gonna force you to use higher heat. Yep to imitate as if the infrared is working. So I have a set at 390, which is the second setting. And let's just begin curling the hair. And it already beeped, so it's already preheated. Let me just find my little hair, hair clip. Actually, let's do a quick before, what the hair looks like. Let's do this. Let's see how comfortable this is. Whoops. What did I do? Nothing. Feels very hot. Oh my goodness. Wow. Why does it feel so hot? Positive. I heated up really fast. Okay. It's making noises, but wow, this curling iron is hot at 390. And the swivel is a little rough. It's not swiveling as well as I thought it would. All right, I'm not sure how I'm enjoying this curling iron. And I am being very gentle on the hair because this clip is a little bit strong and I want to make sure it's not going to pull my hair out. Now the barrels are not as the barrel is not as smooth as I thought it would be since the titanium is, is usually, has a very smooth finish, <laughs> but not bad, okay. I 
I feel like it's a little uneven. Something about this I'm not really liking. I do like the extra long barrel. It's quite long in comparison to a lot of the other ones. Kind of reminds me of the Bioionic one. It has a pretty long barrel, so people with really long hair can benefit from it. I do like the extra long barrel. I think that's really nice. A lot of real estate for the hair. <laughs> like this whole infrared thing on just the two sides, like it's not even covering most of the hair. It's only covering a little section of it. Yeah, like 10% of the hair yeah. gets infrared and everything else doesn't. So what was the point of it? I honestly don't know. How does it feel? I still prefer my Kristen S over this. And the Kristen S I think is like $50. And how much is it? Or $55. $79.99. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like, like a... It's a product. Scheme, it seems very gimmicky in my opinion. When people do the sort of thing like they try to sell you some technology that doesn't really work. Even the concept of that doesn't work. Like I don't understand how, why they did it that this way. The strips when it's not even covering most of the hair. You know? Yeah, it's just another scammy brand. <laughs> scammy brand? It is. It's a scammy brand. Like That should be straightforward. Or, I mean, this particular product is. <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. Like, it's doing nothing. <laughs> and they're charging you money for it. Infrared work is just, they need to be big, powerful lamps. And they don't have enough. They don't have enough power in them. Do you think if, let's say, the entire barrel was infrared? I think the problem here is you'd be frying your head. <laughs> yeah. Like a flat iron where it's kind of inside, it's, pro you know, it's protected. But this... All right, that completes this video with this curling iron. <sighs> what can I say about it? I don't recommend it. <laughs> There's nothing special about it, honestly, even though it's not super expensive, it's still, it's an $80 hair tool, which is pricey. And you still, I think it's a good investment, $80. But in my opinion, this is worth 40. 30. Not even more than $40. 40 is already pushing pushing at it just because of the packaging, the way everything is, like it just looks very rushed. It looks 
It looks like a white label, let's put it that way. The This thing right here just alone gets me upset. Like this swivel should be very flawless and very smooth for $80 hair tool. This gets me really upset. And then just little details, like there's a massive gap right here, which it just, it just looks bad. It, it does not look like a tool that is an $80 hair tool. Again, nothing with the technology speeds up the process. It's not making it more convenient. And honestly, I would not be surprised. <laughs> I, I don't wanna say this, but I would not be surprised if this infrared is not actually infrared. If it's just literally red to make it look like infrared tool. I, I hope it's not. We should take it apart, babe, and see if it is. We should just, yeah, we need a sensor to measure it. We should buy a sensor. But it's just something about this product, I just don't like it. It doesn't make it enjoyable to do my hair. I do like, I kept mentioning, I do like the long barrel. I think that's phenomenal, especially for longer hair. Thicker hair, it's great. You can definitely curl your hair, but... Just like in every other tool. Just like with every other tool. Just some tools make it a little bit more convenient. They make it more enjoyable and they're not as rough on the hair. I feel like this... The way I did my curls, my waves, this clip is a little bit too strong, but it's totally fine. You can make it work. You just gotta admit, you just gotta basically control it a little bit more. It's not really working for you. You have to work, you have to work a little bit extra hard to get better results with this tool. In my opinion, like I mentioned, Kristen S still beats it out of the park. Where is my cooling iron? It's over there. I believe it's like 50 or $55 from Target as well. One of my favorite hair brands from Target, Kristen S, they're phenomenal, especially their hair tools. This right here, I just, I don't, I, I don't, I don't recommend it. It is, it's not a scammy brand. I personally think, yeah, it's a very, not, I wanna say scam, it's a very gimmicky brand, gimmicky tool. Maybe their other brands are a lot better, but so far I'm not seeing anything here that is very revolutionary, very different, and something that you need in your life over another tool that's a lot better in my opinion. But that completes this video. <laughs> Let me know your favorite curling iron, why is it your favorite curling iron? But for now, thank you for watching, spending time with me, getting my hair done, styled, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.